And I'm going to pick right back up where I left off in the previous video. We are on surviving the aftermath. Something is off with a shelter. Some shortcuts have been made during building. Uh, Not poor everybody foundation. is equally skilled in the art of building, but one of the colonists seems extraordinarily bad. bad. Improve the tent. Yep. Yep, we're going to improve the tent. Yay, 20 happiness. Good. Um, that's cool. I like the little interaction things. I think I saw that, though. I think I saw someone. I was watching a video. I think I saw someone do something. It was with, with kids, and they were building a fort, and they were stealing lumber to do it, so. 23 and 18. We're almost there. Almost. Build next. Oh, that, that's, that's to give it priority. I see, yes. People are in there sleeping. That's good. I still need to know what that is. No active deposits, work area. It's a stockpile. Move the work area. Like, I don't understand. Like, oh! You can click on that, and then they'll go and pick up... Look at that. They'll go... Oh my goodness. What a dumb dumb. What a dumb dumb. Can I get both of those? I can. Oh. So that's what you do. That's actually really good. So when you build these things, you have to tell them where their work area is. And if you tell people the work area is out here, they'll go and they'll clean this up. And I suppose that's how the pollution's gonna get handled too. We're gonna build one of these places and then we're gonna tell them that the, the pollution thing is here and they're gonna go clean it up. Ugh. Well, that's neat. How much does it need to, to, to build the front gate? Wow, that's a lot. That is quite a lot of plastic and lumber. And let's see, what does this say? Oh, you can move the work area here, too. So you can tell it to, like, go right there. Well, there's tons and tons of, of wood. That's amazing. But we put it right there on top of the pollution, so I'm sure everyone who works here is going to eventually die. Uh, what is this? No worker is assigned. Can I assign? Oh, yep, I can just click on that and assign a worker. This up here has enough resources now. It's going to be built. Lovely. Uh-oh. Someone's unhappy. Why? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Poor shelter. And uh, something. Basic cloak. Yeah, I'm sorry you have a poor shelter. Insufficient construction materials for the gate. Deposit depleted. Wood depleted. Yes, yes, yes. We have one more wood here. And we'll deplete all of that. And then there's more wood just kind of laying around. So we'll be okay. The water thing is still kind of... Yes, I know you're unhappy too. Can I upgrade your tent how does one get a better tent it's only been one day it's only been one day everybody just chill out what is that safety community infrastructure water pipes direct heating large drums solar panel pavement bunk beds shelter space is at a premium upgrade a crowded tent Crowded, oh. I, why can't we just build little houses? <laughs> They're not that hard to build. Hey, and the recycler is complete. And we'll just go ahead and move the work area just right there. And we'll put somebody else on it. Lovely. Lovely. Now we just have one carrier. Ooh, maybe we should not have done that. We only got one person carrying stuff around. Where's Fritz out? Oh, he's just standing there. He's doing nothing. Um... Would you please go and get some uh, wood, please? Please and thank you. Huh? She's bringing in more food. Lovely. Tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to send you... Can, I, can you clean that up? Yeah, I've already tried doing that once. Um, Wooden ruins. Wow. Plastic. Metal. Oh, there's metal back there. Lovely. We're going to go ahead and put you on another berry tree. Because... People are already working that berry tree. It's, it's about to go anyway, so we'll just get a head start. Kind of tempted to build a road that connects the other side over there. Can't believe we can't upgrade this. Oh, you can't do the. Oh, the tents can be upgraded. Okay, but I hope it's not just like oh, it's crowded tents. That would stink. Allow resources, carrier count, one, two. 
three. So that just means we want to have three carriers for this thing, which I guess is fine. Is that candy? It is candy bars. That's really nice. And I don't think we need to worry about the winter storms yet. I don't think it's going to be... I don't see a calendar up here, but I guess I, I just don't think it's going to be a problem. What is that? Milestones? First settlers, little town, population 25. Defend 10 hostile wild animals. Ooh. Neat. Oh, she's unhappy. Why? Why are you unhappy? Wow. Oh, he. He is unhappy. He has a little bit of contamination. Oh. Oh, the medical tent. We were supposed to get the medical tent next. There's the medical tent. Um, Medical tent right next to the little train, I guess. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. I want the medical tent to be the next thing that we build, too. So we can stop production on the, the wall. Even though we're almost there when it comes to... Uh, the wood, it's the plastique that we're we're falling behind on. We have two workers here, so we should be good. Five rubbish equals nine plastic. How much rubbish is here? Four hundred and fourteen. Okay, that's not bad. I like it when you go from five to nine. I don't like it when games are like nine to five. <laughs> I like it when you get more per. And it would be so nice just to have a little bit more water. But what are you going to do? Everybody out there is like, uh, build a whale. <laughs> i tell you what, man. If I get one more email about Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I'm going to lose my mind. Used to be that stuff actually meant something. But nowadays, all that stuff is overpriced. Can't really trust it. Tons of wood coming in. I wonder if I should move him from wood. I bet you know what? I bet he can't get plastic. Yeah, he can't get plastic. You say I might move him from doing wood to getting plastic. Really want that medical tent up and running though. Only nine of forty. Man, it takes a while to get that recycling area. But we only have eleven people, so. Might be a, that might be one of the problems. That we we probably don't need to have. Can I click you all? There you go. You go away. Now we have two carriers. Is there a lot of... Yeah, I was going to say, there might be some backed up stuff here. Oh, can he not... Can he not walk well? Because he doesn't have a ribbon. Do that just for fun. Colonist Edward is injured. Oh no! I'm sorry, you're injured, brother. Sorry, so sorry. He works at the recycler, lives at the emergency shelter. He's an adult and he is sick. Oh, that's that's rough. We gotta get this medical tent up and going. We gotta get more plastic. But these people can't harvest plastic by themselves for some reason. I guess a, a scavenger could. If we had picked the scavenger class, the scavenger might have been able to do it. We could build another one of these. Um, da -da 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 -da, production. That's storage. That's shelter. That's production. A recycler. It only requires lumber. Yeah, we can we can build another one of these, and just hopefully we can find somebody to like some find some people to to work in it. Put it right there. Ooh, actually, you know what? You can put it anywhere you want and just direct them where you want them to work. So I can put it right there and destroy my road. I think that's okay with that. Or I can put it on the other side of the road, next to the contamination. I'm going to put it right there and just destroy the road. Eh, maybe not. Just do that. We'll build another one of those. Ah! Not that. Oh, please. You. And then when that thing gets pulled up, then we'll just say that your work area is over here, which is kind of bad, I guess, because then they're going to have to work. They're going to have to walk. Yeah, I should have done that. Can I, can I, um, can I exit? Yeah, cancel construction. 
uh, uh, not aboard the demolition. There we go. Perfect. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, cause I forgot they'd have to walk all the way over there to get to it. They'd have to put a road here and then a road up there and have to have them work up there. Maybe I should just wait. Just hang up. Look there. We got, we got, we got, we got it. We got our 40. We're good. We should just wait. Edward's dying though, so. All right, build next. Change priority. Ooh, no, 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 no. They, they'd walk away from that. I thought, I thought once they had the materials and they were building it, they would just stay with it. But perhaps that's not the case. Um, what is this? Wood? Why are we getting a deal here for wood? Yeah, like, but why? Like, why are you yelling at us? No one else has... Oh, everybody does have that. Okay. <laughs> everybody has one of those little symbols. That's kind of cool. kind of lets you know where things are at. As soon as this gets done here, we're gonna we're gonna take one of our carriers and we're gonna put them on nurse duty. Then Edward, we're gonna take care of you, buddy. We're gonna take care of you because you took care of us. What is this? No free workers. There has to be a free worker. Ah. There we go. Do that. Now we have yes. So we we said. We brought that down to one, saying that we only needed one because we had two, so perfect. Now this guy's gonna come here and he's gonna be our our dude. And then we're gonna fix we're gonna fix Edward. Even though I think Edward ran in there and went to sleep, so. Oh, maybe maybe that guy comes in here and like he'll go see Edward at home. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Kachunk. Kachunk. People are unhappy. That guy said, he, he's tired and he just dropped his plastic right there in the middle of the road and was like, time to go to sleep. <laughs> that would be me in the post apocalyptic world. Or like, it'll be there tomorrow. Oh, a little kid picked it up. That's really nice. I didn't know the kids did work. Hi. Hey. You're pretty cool. Pretty cool kid. Thank you so much for helping out around the, the colony. So now you work here. You need to go. Uh, there you are. There's the guy who's hurt. I know Ed Edward's injured. Edward, go to the, the deal. There you go. He's going to go in there. He's going to go in there. He's treating a patient. Lovely. Lovely. Our first big problem is being solved. And then this thing right here. Come on. We need, we need tons more people. Oh, I wonder if I should bring a, a road down here. Maybe not. What happens when this person goes to sleep? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what happens when you go to sleep? Look how slow. Ready. Is that my guy? Is that Sergey? Sergey? Keep getting, keep getting resources, Sergey. No sleeping. Yep. There's Jen. Jen's doing good work. Lovely. I'm so happy that I figured that out. So happy to figure that out. Look at that majestic deer. Look at his beautiful color scheme there. And his antlers. Holy crap. That's not a deer. No deer has antlers like that. Oh, a red deer. Yes, it could be a red deer. Deposit depleted. So you were working on a wood deposit over there and it got depleted. Ooh, tons of stuff back there. Here we go. You'll never run out of job or wood taking care of that stuff. I feel like I should put a road out there. Where's the intersection of that road? There. Why won't you let me move it out to the right? Is there something there? Something there won't let me do it. Oh, it's a, a bush. It's the berries. Like, once we get the berries out of the way, I'm sure we'll be able to do it. Ah, taking a poo is actually your health. Here we go. Didn't know that. Contamination of five. Level of contamination. Highly contaminated buildings must be decontaminated as pollution is carried over to its workers and might eventually cause everything to shut down. Hey, Edward sure feels good to be healthy again. Yes, it does. Thank you, Edward, for being healthy again. We desperately need people to produce plastic. Desperately need plastic for the front door. And Edward worked back here, so 
communion in the commotion in the camp. Someone's yelling inside of a tent. Suddenly, muffled, muffled cries, cries for help start, start echoing from, from one of the shelters. The shelters inside inside a large hole has opened up in the ground, ground. swallowing the poor colonist. Shelter was apparently built on top of a small sinkhole. Makeshift ladder should get the colonists out without injury. Build the makeshift ladder. There we go. Man, we've had so many bad deals with these tents and the shelters. One of them wasn't built properly. One of them was built over a sinkhole. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and build another plastic recycler. This needs to get done. Put it there. Put it right there. Let's grab a road. A road in front of it. And then where's... I guess we just do that. Perfect. Because it's taking a long time to get that that plastic for this gate. A long time. And I would say that it, it, like we have all the time in the world. We're not going to worry about it. But we need to start leveling up to get this pollution out of here. Like that's that's no bueno. The pollution's no good. I can only assume that the tech tree is going to unlock. Right, because right now, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how do we get science. Like, we, it says 100. Like, I couldn't even tell you how we're going to get that. All I know is we need uh, to clean up the contamination. And that means plastic. Look how big that contaminated site is. Come on. And maybe, oh, I've already taken some, I was going to say, I'm going to take somebody off this. How much wood do we have? 112 wood. I'm tempted just to pull that last person off wood, too, because I just don't think we need it. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull you off wood. And now we have some workers, some carriers, as they call them. She's coming back to work in the water. I guess so long as you have this building and there's a worker next to this building, you're just going to get water. But the second that somebody else comes by, we're going to need to build something better. The water well just works independently, but it requires 35 plastic. It's ridiculous. We're only, we're only about halfway to the plastic we need for that, so... We're just going to have to wait. Thank goodness this right here only requires the lumber. What is Sarah J doing? Orders. Yep, he's still doing that. Uh-huh. Jen's still doing that. Perfect. Is can we speed this up? Yeah, I guess we can. We'll speed it up a little bit. Oh no 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 no. Colonists under attack. What happened? Help them any way you can. Two colonists are injured. Something, something got them. I guess it was a bear up here or something. That's weird. It's searching for somebody. Oh, I know. A sandworm, a massive mutant centipede, which burrows underground to attack its victims. Look at that. Well, I guess we're not going to live up here. Oh, can you attack that thing? Yeah, you yes. attack it and you attack it. That's what you, that's what these guys are good for. Oh, there's another sandworm over there. I see it now. Interesting, interesting. Here he comes, coming in hot. And then we're, we're going to go down here to this thing, and we're going to turn off. We don't only need the one carrier, so that this person will go work up here. There he is. He's going after it. He's not really winning. He's getting his butt kicked. He's going to die. You're going to need to fall back. Yeah, fall back. Where's the girl at? Your command? Well, not anymore. Come back. Ready. Can you go get healed? Can I, can I just send you recovery? 30 hit points every 12 hours. What is this? It just means no one's working there? Yeah. Can I send you to the tent? I can't. The people who, the people who got hurt, though, are there. 
I want to see your What's health up? again. It, 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 it looks like there's only one slither of health gone, so maybe we should try this again What's with up? both of them attacking. Alright, both of you attack at the same time. It was Edward again that got hurt. And they are not they're not making a dent in this thing. Okay, here. You back up and let it attack her. Yeah, now you come back in. Let her tank some of it for a second. It'd be better if we were just using random colonists for this. Jeez. She's hurt. Alright, huh? you come back now. Yeah. Perfect. Big game hunter, yes. Yeah, you go mule yeah, worms. Why would, why would we want mule worms? Okay. I guess we'll need them for something, but there we go. We now have meal worms in the stockpile. <laughs> Ridiculous. And somebody up here should be working. Yeah, there she goes. Working without fear of being eaten by a gigantic worm. You are welcome. Then all the way down here in TV land, we still need 75 more. What's wrong? One of the colonists approaches. How much fiber do we have? More than a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Tools. Clothes. Medicine. I don't think we have fiber, kid. Yeah, I mean, you can try. Oh, she didn't. I think, okay, so I guess it was she was trying to make something clothes for us and she wanted fiber. I don't, I didn't know where fiber was up here, so, I mean, I, I don't know how much fiber we got. It's, it, well, I know we gave her nine. I just don't know where it came from, but she said that she couldn't do it. I'd hate to think, oh, there it is, other, 15 fiber. So we lost 15 fiber. Well, that's not a big deal. She, I mean, she tried to make us clothes. I do notice that people's clothes are, people's clothes are wearing out, though. Like, I have seen that. What's this? What is this? As the the health it's damaged I see repair it yes please repair that are you also damaged you are please repair that yes that seems to be something that what we should be doing is repairing the things that are damaged please and thank you and then these two guys are still running <laughs> looting mealworms out of this thing's carcass whatever Whatever. 109. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit, shall we? We have food. We have water. We're just slowly being contaminated, which is odd because, like, why didn't these people get contaminated on the road? Like, when they're out there surviving and just wherever, like, why didn't they get contaminated out there? I guess they just didn't, right? There's 142. There's not having enough. And 54. Someone's hurt again? I bet it's Edward. Edward gets hurt a lot. Got that road built all the way out there, though. That's nice. Come on now. Bring us on home. Bring us on home. There we go. Slow things back down again. Watch our builders get out here and build this thing up. Actually, probably not going to slow down it again. If I just watch all this happen. I know that the front gate allows you to recruit more people. Like I saw that. Colonist uh, Addison is irradiated. It can't be. I can't be sick. Well, you are. But don't worry. We have a medical tent. We'll be able to go to said tent and get the best health care that we can provide. Which at this point, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but you will get it. Oh, it says it right there too. The gate opens. The, the colonist has received a vision. An older colonist speaks up, 
claiming to bear grave news. Is it even news? She is shaking and in clear right, dismay. Instruction. It will hit tonight. Before people can ask for details, the colonist passes out from the stress. It is unclear how the news should be interpreted. Prepare for fallout. Prepare for a fire. Prepare for a meteor. Um... Well, we have 15. Let's let's prepare for a fire because that, that'll take wood. And there you go. The colonists believe the vision was a warning of upcoming torching with disaster effects. In unison, the colonists start to reinforce their dwellings in case of a fire. Turns out the colonists' help. The colonists' hearths had been overheated and was about to set the whole colony aflame. Disaster was narrowly avoided this time. There we go. Always listen to the old crone. Especially if it's things like, hey, things are going to get messed up. If they say things like, hey, give me a cookie. Probably like, yeah, no, I don't. I think this person just wants a cookie. <laughs> I don't really think they're... I mean, maybe. Maybe they just want a cookie, but... Sure feels good to be healthy again. Yep, Addison is no longer irradiated. And bingo, bango, bongo. Congratulations. Ah. You've rebuilt the gate. We've the gate has been rebuilt. We have a milestone. A mission is completed. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Oh, we got to put somebody on the gate? Holy mackerel. I didn't know we had to put somebody on the gate. All right. You are no longer a plastic worker. You are a guard. There are survivors at the gate. Oh, yeah? Lovely. Oh, they're going to need a place to sleep. Uh, Stop. Before you even get here. <gasps> What's this? Decorations. Oh, good. You now have decorations. We need more production. What does a forester do? Grow saplings and plants them in specific work area. I see. Oh, this guy makes uh, wood. We might need to do that. And this, we'll need to put a water well down. I'll put it right there. And then we'll put down a new road that goes from one side of the camp to the other. And a narrow road this way. What would that accomplish? Pretty much nothing. It would look pretty, but it wouldn't accomplish anything. Everybody kind of lives on this side of the town. If I put people on this side of the town, they'd have to walk all the way over here to use the bath. I can build them a bathroom over here. Where did I do this? What, maybe two from the edge? So like right here? Like that? We just have symmetry with respect to the origin. Do that. Um, I don't know how many people it's going to be. So I will put down the, the big shelter here. And then probably need to move. Well, that's fine. That's fine. They can, they can walk over there and grab the water. I probably should have built it over here on their side. But I do want to do a outhouse on this side for them to use the bathroom. Maybe a little bit farther away. So it's not super close to where they sleep. There we go. And now. All right. Ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Okay. Um, so we get this person who is like their leader. Uh, fighter. You won't get many opportunities for small talk with her. Her straight to the point attitude might scare away some, but it... Makes doing business a lot simpler. Whatever you offer, you won't have to worry about hurting her feelings. Just remember that she doesn't care much about yours either. Well, that's kind of fine. Seven adults, one kid, and no elders. They bring plastic, basic tools, canned fruit, wood, medicine, and currency. Yeah, welcome aboard. Seven adults? That's. I think that's okay. I think, oh, probably not, because we have to have... We're going to have to build another tent. Hold on, let me build another tent. It'll have to be over here. And it'll do that way. Yes. There we go. That I hope that'll be enough. Hope that'll be enough. So this right here. Take some workers there. Up here, you can take some workers. The gate. Take a worker. And that, that's going to be four people carrying... So let's go ahead and back here and let's just put another worker. There we go. Now we have three carriers. We have two people guarding the front. We're making tons of plastic. And we have somebody doing, two people doing lumber again. So there we go. We just need the people to focus on 
building a uh, shelter. That's the next biggest thing. Oh, it just needs to, someone just needs to haul, haul over some lumber. We'll be good there. But I think that's what's going to do it here for this video. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Ooh, negative eight water. Well, that's okay. We have the, that little kid, that little kid's helping. That's so wonderful. Love seeing that. Love seeing the little kids help. It says resources are on the way. I mean, someone's bringing it. Another little kid. That's so cool. There we go. Now the well's going to be up and operational because a little kid helped us out. We just got to find an adult here to build it for us. And I'll be the end of that. Oh, it's over here. It's already getting built. Process of, of 7%. Lovely. And the tent is ready to go. And we're going to have the outhouse ready to go in two more plastics, which we do have because we have 61 plastics. That's what the people brought in with us or with them. And they brought in a ton of food too. We're up to 19 inhabitants here. Lovely. A well is going up. Ah, this really is fun. I do like the, the idea of rebuilding a society. And this, and this is this is what uh, Satisfactory needs. Satisfactory needs a uh, an attachment or an add-on where you can look at things from this point of view. I mean, it would be so nice if you could just like click, 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 click. I want to build that, 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 and that, and then have drones build it for you. Fact, fact, uh, Factorio is 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 the king. Like that that game just knew how to do it from the very beginning. Like there, and it was so cool. Like you know how they say like, what's one game you wish you could go back and experience again? Like the day that I was playing Factorio and I figured out that I didn't have to build the stuff in my pockets anymore, that I could build it, you know, uh, have the machine build it for me and then like output it. It was so cool. All right, we have uh, excess of water, finally. Thomas Achari is homeless, build more shelters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's back here building his own shelter. Look at that, man, he showed up and he was like, man, if I want a shelter, I gotta do it myself. And this is good, too, because we have the old people who started the colony. Then we have the new people who came in. So if there's any crime over here, you know, they brought it with them. So that's good. This guy right here just taking care of uh, the road, building it. Charlie now has a house that he helped build himself. And now, uh, yeah, we're going to say goodbye. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. We're going to say goodbye. The next time we play this game, we'll be going to the overworld map, which I don't know... Hey, there it is. There's New Caledonia. Oh, what is this? A farm? It has basic tools. It's not taking any damage and it doesn't have any hazards. Well, that's cool. We need tools. There's a science project over here that has 500 science in it. We kind of need that. And clothes. Oh, we'll be going for the clothes and then the tools and science. But that's so neat. We have two survivors colony friendly all right anyway oh and you click that and it goes right back i love that next next video we'll be sending our people out into the real world we'll probably be sending her and fritz and uh, the scout will just leave behind us we'll leave behind here um but yeah well she's idle she can actually go yep. do something hey lady get some berries Your orders. he's scavenging and she's scavenging all right thank you folks for watching have a great day i will see you in the next one Bye bye